quality. If they pass inspection, the truck is backed in and lifted straight up in the air to unload the potatoes. The potatoes either head off immediately to be processed, or they are stored in crates until they are needed later in the day or week. All potatoes go through a pool of water to rinse off any dirt or rocks left over from the harvest. The potatoes are then spun around the inside of peelers, which are coated with a rough surface. As they spin, this rough surface removes the potato skins. Once peeled, they head to the inspectors, who check potato quality and size before going to the slicer. In the slicer, potatoes are spun against rotating blades, which cut them to an exact thickness and style. After slicing, the potatoes are washed to remove starch and then air dried to remove excess water before heading to the fryer. At Mike Cells, they try to use every part of the potato. Starch and other potato scraps throughout the process are stored and then later picked up by farmers for animal feed and by manufacturers to make paper. The potato slices are sent into a batch of heated premium oil where they are cooked to an average temperature of 330 degrees. This gives their chips that distinctive Mike Cells crunch and taste. Now, these potato slices are officially delicious potato chips. But it's not over yet. They will still need to go through a seasoning tumbler. There, chips are sprinkled with one of Mike Sell's distinctive and delicious flavors. Several times throughout the day, chips are pulled from the line and sent to an on-site quality assurance lab. There, a technician measures moisture, chip integrity, and fat content to make sure that each batch of Mike Sell's potato chips meets the exacting standards of the DW guarantee. The flavored chips are put into a store veyer where they are automatically pulled as needed by the packaging machines. Chip bags are formed and placed under a funnel where the correct amount of chips are measured and then fall into them. The filled bags head down a conveyor belt and pass over a scale. Any bag that is too heavy or too light is rejected by a blast of air to be recycled. Most bags are already the correct weight, so they head to the automatic case packer. To help save the environment, Mike Sells reuses their cardboard shipping boxes for several trips before they are then recycled. Once packed, the boxes head down a conveyor line to be inspected one last time. They are sent through an x-ray machine to detect any contaminants, therefore ensuring that every chip bag is clean. Finally, the shipping boxes head down another conveyor belt to the warehouse to be loaded into a delivery truck. 